Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is all about how to hide your Wi-Fi. Before I begin, I welcome you to this video. I welcome you to this channel. I do a lot of technology tutorials just like this one. So if you like this video towards the end, just hit that thumbs up button. So today's video is all about how to hide your Wi-Fi. I recommend watching my latest video, uh, which will be up here in the cards. Uh, that went over how to change your Wi-Fi's name and password. I go into detail how to access your wi uh, router's interface. I'm sorry. Uh, in this video, we'll be going over our router's interface once again. Uh, so just make sure you watch that video. Get familiar with accessing your router's interface and then come back to this video. So once you're here, you know, IP address from your router or the website, make sure you're at the login page and then just log in with your um, admin credentials. All right, so once you're in your router's interface, you're going to look for something that says basic. And then in the basic menu if of your, your Fios router, your Xfinity router, your D-Link, your Netgear, whatever router you have, you're just going to look for basic. And you're going to look for Wi-Fi. It could be on the left. It could be on the right. I have it in both spots right now. So I'm just going to click on the Wi-Fi spot here. And then here's our Wi-Fi name and password. Ignore our Wi-Fi name, that's just a little IT joke, which I thought was pretty hilarious. So you're going to find your Wi-Fi name and look for either a settings or a gear icon, kind of like this. You may have three channels of 2.4, five gigahertz, and a five gigahertz, you may have three, you may have one. We have three here at the house. Um, if you have one, two, or three, it just, you know, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you find the settings gear or the settings button somewhere it says settings in your Wi-Fi area of your primary network so once you do that you're gonna click on the settings button or settings gear and you're gonna look for what's called broadcast it says broadcast Wi-Fi name for router to Wi-Fi clients so right now we're broadcasting our uh, in technical terms our SSID which is our Wi-Fi name so this is being broadcast so all our neighbors or people that come over, they can see this name when they try to connect to Wi-Fi. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide it. So no one's going to see it. Internet is still going to work. People can still join this network if they know what the name is. If they don't know what the name is, they can't join. So we're going to hide it from people so they can't see it at all. So we're just going to click on disable. We're going to hit confirm if you have a pop-up window. We're going to do all three channels. Like I said, you may have three, you may have one, you may have two. Whatever you have, I would just do them all. So we'll do that one. We'll do the 5 gigahertz. Click on the gear. Disable that. Hit confirm. And we will do this one as well. Broadcast. Confirm. So just make sure you see broadcast somewhere. Wi-Fi enabled. If you disable that, uh, you won't have Wi-Fi. So just make sure you look for broadcast. That's disabling your, or not disabling, I'm getting confused. That's hiding your SSID or your Wi-Fi. It's not disabling your Wi-Fi. You're still having internet connection. It's just hiding it so people can't see it on the uh, Wi-Fi list. So once you disable the broadcast, just hit apply changes and then OK. This may take a little bit. It may take 30 seconds. It may take up to a minute. It could even take up to two minutes, so just be patient. Um, I'm going to cut the video right here. I don't want to um, let this drag on for so long. So I'll cut the video right here, and I'll be right back when it's finished. Okay, so I'm back, and if we click on our Wi-Fi list, it still shows that we're connected, and it still shows it in our list here. Uh, that's okay because we are connected, so it still recognizes the name. However, if we hit disconnect, it still shows it because it's still stored or cached um, in our Wi-Fi list that we were connected at one point. So we're going to right click the name and just hit forget. And we're going to close out of here. And you may, uh, for your laptop, you may need to restart, uh, which looks like we will have to do um, because it's still showing. So if you give your laptop a restart or computer a restart and you click on your network list, 
what will what will happen is it won't say your Wi-Fi name anymore. It will say hidden network. So I'm going to restart my laptop, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll jump back into the video and show you what I mean. So give me one second. All right, guys, I'm back, and if we click on our Wi-Fi list here, it no longer shows that Wi-Fi name. So you may or may not have to restart your computer for those changes to be um, applied. But do know, now that it's not showing, your neighbors or if anyone comes over, they try to pull up their your Wi-Fi list, they won't be able to see that Wi-Fi name, which I think is pretty cool. It just also adds an extra security layer um, to things. So you're gonna ask, okay, well it's hidden, how do I connect to it? Easy, you're gonna jump on the Wi-Fi list right here and you're gonna look for something that says hidden network. So your devices, your laptops, computers um, are gonna say hidden network where it senses that there's a network but it just doesn't know the name. Uh, same thing if somebody comes over, if they pull up their phone or laptop, probably their phone, uh, if they connect to Wi-Fi, they can actually connect to, uh, I think it's, actually I'll tell you in a second, if they connect to Wi-Fi, there should be an other option. So if you click on other, if you know the uh, Wi-Fi name of the person that the house you're going to, all you have to do is put the Wi-Fi name in and the password. So essentially you, you're connecting manually, if that makes sense. So for here, we're gonna click on hidden network and we're gonna just connect automatically. We're gonna hit connect. We're gonna enter the name SSID of the network. So that's the Wi-Fi name that you originally had, but now you have it hidden. So for us, it was this. Okay, we're gonna hit next. It's gonna connect. And that's going to ask for your Wi-Fi password, like so. We're gonna hit next. I'm just gonna hit yes for that. Do know if you had devices already connected to your network originally, they won't be disconnected, they won't be booted off. They'll still hold the Wi-Fi settings. So my phone, for instance, since we've hidden our Wi-Fi, but my phone was still connected to Wi-Fi, it won't bump it off because it still recognizes that it was connected. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so. It connected to the internet, or our Wi-Fi network, rather, uh, right here. It burns when I, you know. Um, so yeah, so now I'm connected. It shows the Wi-Fi name because I typed it in. But for anyone who comes over, you have your Wi-Fi hidden. You know, they're not going to see it, so they don't know, you know, how to connect or where to connect to. So if you want to hide your Wi-Fi, I think this was a great video on how to do that. If you do hide your Wi-Fi, make sure you tell, you know, someone who comes over the name of it. If you don't want to share your Wi-Fi, you don't have to. But that was just a quick video on how to do that. Um, now, if you want to unhide it, you just reverse the process. So you just go into your router's interface. We'll kind of go backwards here. So... And then we'll click on Wi-Fi. And then we'll click the gears again, or the settings. And then just re-enable the broadcast. So do it here, enable. Uh, for how many you clicked on, if it was one, if it was three. We'll do this one, enable. And then we'll do this one, enable. And don't forget to apply the changes. Hit OK. It will take some time to apply those changes anywhere between 30 seconds to maybe two minutes. Uh, that's pretty quick. So if this video has helped you guys, give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah, that's how you hide your Wi-Fi. So if you enjoyed it, thumbs, thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching.